financial freedom is all about having peace of mind when it comes to your money life. And that peace comes when you know you're in control. You know how much is coming, where it's going, how much do you need to save every month to meet your life goals, picking your investments well, and tracking those investments regularly. Sounds like a lot of work? Not really. Believe me, it takes 15 minutes every weekend. It's just that you've got to get down to doing it. Let's Talk Money is also about helping you do that. So getting some peace of mind, let's start with introducing the certified planners on the show today. From our Bangalore studio, Anil Rego, CEO, founder Right Horizons, and Surya Bhatia, managing partner of Asset Managers. Uh, gentlemen, thanks very much for being here. Surya, thank you. Okay, I think this is an important question which has come in with, from several of our viewers and this is of course post that takeover of Fidelity Equity by Larson and Tubro. So Kanya Srinivasan writes in from Bangalore, 32 years of age, she says the company has been bought over by l &T Mutual Fund and uh, my husband has invested in Fidelity Equity. I recently read an article which says that Larson and Tubro Mutual Fund schemes have not been doing too well. Should I then exit or at least stop investing in Fidelity Equity Fund and look at investing in another fund? Surya, lots of questions coming because generally a takeover happens when it did happen with Lotus as well. People were a little hassled, but here it was a more powerful, a better brand taking over Lotus Mutual Fund. In this case, I think the performance is the big issue because so far, l and Mutual Fund hasn't been a top performer in any of the categories. Yeah, true. <clears throat> also, at the same time, you have to be very, very careful uh, and see that whenever the takeover happens, generally the recommendation which, come out, which comes out is that um, you should stop and review the new fund house. And here, l and is not the chart busters hmm. in any of the schemes. I think the best scheme for l and is a three-star rated Absolutely. So, so that's the thing. So that's it's, a concerning point. It's not just equity. In most categories, but it's not. at the not. same time, mm -hmm. we should also be knowing that the fund management team of Fidelity is right now staying on with LNT for the complete handover, okay. which could be three months, which could be six months. So no one should act in haste. There are a few pointers we should actually know. Uh, first of all being, make sure that you actually have a long-term capital gain. Don't just get out of it. Right. So right. if you're close to nine months, ten months, something, wait for 12 months. Nothing going to change in that fund. Absolutely. That's one. Second. Um, the moment the LNT completely takes over and RBI gives approval for the same, mm -hmm. they will give you an option to exit without any exit loads. So you have a 30-day window where you will be able to exit without paying any charge. So that's the time Except you want to. for the Fidelity Tax Advantage Fund, which is the which ELSS. Is it's a three-year lock-in, so that's, I'm assuming, you, wait you have to wait years. for that three-year period. But other than that, all other schemes will carry that exit-free window. You can exercise that option. But in the meanwhile, um, as a, as a thumb rule in any takeovers, you can stop your regular monthly investments, but, but the existing investments, exit. hold on. Okay, don't exit in haste. Anil, would you agree with that? Yes. Uh, more or less that, okay, there is a huge difference between the fund performance uh, between Larson and Tubro Mutual Fund and Fidelity, but it's okay to hold on for the moment. Don't exit in a haste. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I, well, I would rather, you know, wait and watch. Uh, of course, I, one could review whether you want to continue your SIPs and further contributions in the two fund uh, till such time that you know you are able to see continued performance. But at least you know uh, partially, maybe we can look at if you have a larger allocation to the fund, look at whether it makes sense to you know move it to some other fund. Uh, and I think the whole process will take its time. I don't think performance will suddenly drop. Uh, the fidelity team will continue for some time and. Uh, that would provide some bit of cushion. Uh, so, and even post that for a few months, I think those stocks will still continue to play out. So, so we do have time. We can wait and watch and see, you know, what are the changes happening? Uh, is there a new fund management team coming? How, how is the transition happening? And, and then take a call on whether to exit or not. At, at the same time, so it's no a point to, you know, be really uh, concerned about. I think wait and watch and see how it plays out. All right, so no hasty exit. That's the verdict from both our planners. Abhijit Mahato, he's joining us on the phone line from Kolkata. Hi, Abhijit. Thanks for joining us. Tell us, how can we help you? Hi, Manisha and experts. Uh, good, very good evening to all of you. Uh, Manisha, I really, first of all, I'd like to thank you that uh, the kind of shows you are showing, it's very appreciable and uh, it's, uh, it's a very good. It's, uh, for us, it's very helpful. So my question is that it's regarding the child plan for uh, just two months back I got we my family blessed with a baby girl and I wanted to save some money for her uh, education, higher education and marriage. 
and uh, right now i okay. can uh, invest up to 8000 per month so whether uh, my, i'm a bit confused that, that whether i should go for the so called child plan from various companies like abiba uh, icsa or should i speak to the pcf for some kind of debt mutual fund can you suggest something on this all right so first of all congratulations what have you named your daughter it's siona Wow, that's a that's an unusual name uh, and very pretty name. All right, so let's just uh, get down to uh, your portfolio. Actually, you're doing all right. You've got reasonably good mutual funds, uh, and I see no reason why you should be looking at anything other than a combination of the classes that we always recommend on the show, which is gold, debt, and equity. Some combination of this, right, Surya? Absolutely. I'm saying uh, he's having a bitchy. You are having your portfolio mix for your retirement in these three assets which i just pointed out why be different for your child have the same allocation maybe in a different mix but have the same allocation for your child's portfolio why do you want to go for a child plan for her there is absolutely no reason i think he should not yes absolutely and uh, there's the sense that he could increase his savings a little bit yeah i think he has the potential to save if i'm not wrong at least by 11000 odd or this he can actually increase his savings by and uh, he should also need to he need to evaluate his term insurances i think every time we have been recommending please change your uh, and evaluate your mutual funds regularly over a period of time okay. now with the changing times you also need to evaluate your insurances and this surprisingly also includes a term insurance take your example abhijit you are having a 50 lakh of cover for 25 years you are paying 16000 rupees go online same amount same cover same tenure you just pay half of it that's 8000 i'm saying why not why not do you have the indi tv profit app all the markets all the news and your own home made ready made portfolio available there for you we will right now answer what you should sell what you should buy when markets are down download at indtvprofit.com/apps get the best app from the channel you trust